This is WENY News. Hello and thanks so much for being online with me for the webcast. I'm Ross DiMattei. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. The Common Core Task Force has been making its rounds all across the state, and tonight it's headed to the southern tier. Tonight's listening session will be held at Binghamton University's Innovative and Technologies Complex from 7 to 9 p.m. Attendees will be allowed to share their opinion on the Common Core learning standards, training of teachers, and testing standards. Testimony will be limited to three minutes, though, and will be offered on a first-come, first-served basis. The Horsehead Central School District is looking for feedback from district residents regardless of whether or not you have children in the school system. The district has launched a survey asking for people asking people for their perceptions of the district. It's part of Horsehead School's 10-year strategic plan. The survey is available until November 20th, and the link can be found on the Horsehead School District website as well as on the WENY website as well. New Yorkers who used to use Health Republic will now have more time to find a new insurance provider. According to our media partner, the Star Gazette, New York regulators announced they'll extend the deadline to November 30th. New York originally set a November 15th deadline for customers to sign up for the state's health exchange. The state says be aware though, online enrollment will still close after November 15th, so those who need more time will have to call the exchange's customer service center for help. And if customers don't pick a new provider on their own, the state will automatically enroll them in a new plan. Drivers and pedestrians traveling through parts of the city of Corning may face delays for the next month or so. Crews will be installing pedestrian countdown timers at the intersections of Pulteney and Bridge Streets. Construction begins today and work will vary over the next week and it's expected to wrap up on December 18th. And now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with a look at today's forecast. Hey there, Craig. Ross, you're definitely going to notice a change in the weather pattern as we head through the course of this week. But let's talk today because I think today is probably the, the best looking day of the week. We should have some sunshine out. Bright and blue with a high of uh, 57. That's after starting in the 20s. So a little bit of a south wind today. Today is the best day of the week. That we get into tonight, cloud coverage is going to increase, but we should stay rain free and we'll take you on future track in a little bit here and show you uh, when the rain does arrive here. And it looks like there will be episodic and periodic precipitation as we head through the next several days. So here in the here and now with satellite radar composite, we have got a good deal of clear sky here across the region and that has allowed temperatures to fall into the 30s to start your Monday, or I should say 20s to start your Monday. And with a little bit of a south breeze today, we should see temperatures head up into the 55 to 60 degree range. This moisture that you see down to the south will start to work its way to the north as we head into Tuesday, and we'll show you that on future tracks. So today, no problems. We've got sun and blue sky temperatures 55 to 60 by afternoon. Overnight tonight, clouds increase. Then we get into Tuesday uh, and into the pre-dawn hours. Notice there's some rain trying to build in here during the pre-dawn hours Tuesday. I don't want to completely rule this out, but I think the higher likelihood for wet weather will be during the day Tuesday with rounds of rain moving through and temperatures no better than the 50s. Even some uh, periods of steadier rain moving through, I think, as we head into Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday is one of those days where we're left over with a shower in the morning, and then we'll try to give you some breaks or intervals of sunshine as we head into Wednesday afternoon for Veterans Day and highs again in the mid 50s. So let's recap and reset and talk today. Should be a good deal of sunshine and blue sky and a high of 57. 38 tonight, showers becoming likely on Tuesday and a high of 55. A shower or two into Wednesday morning, and then we'll try to give you some uh, breaks or intervals of sun, a high of 56. The wind picks up on Thursday with some wet weather, a high of 58, and then cooler again as we head into the week's end and into the weekend. Only 52 Friday, and then Saturday, some scattered rain or some wet snow showers, 47 and chilly, partly cloudy near 50 on Sunday. Ross? All right, thanks so much, Craig. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great Monday.